Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. And let's start. Here's the question. Given the following equations, x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0, our goal is to find the value of x raised to 16 minus 1 all over x raised to 8 plus 2x raised to 7. And if you want to answer this problem, just pause this video right now. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. We are given an equation x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. So we will use this given to evaluate this expression. x raised to 16 minus 1 all over x raised to 8 plus 2x raised to 7. So let's focus on the given equation. We have x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Now definitely in this equation, we know that x is not equal to 0. Because if we try to solve this equation, we get a golden ratio. Now, what we're going to do is to add x and add 1 both sides. Therefore, we get that x squared equals x plus 1. Now, from here, if we add 1 both sides, we get that x squared plus 1 equals x plus 2. And if we subtract 1 both side, we get x squared minus 1 equals x. Now, let's put those results in this part. So, we have x squared equals x plus 1, x squared plus 1 equals x plus 2, and x squared minus 1 equals x. Next, let's start with x squared equals x plus 1. Now, what we're going to do is to square both sides. Now, if we do that, we will use some identities. If we have a plus b quantity squared, it is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Therefore, the right-hand side of this equation will become x squared plus 2x plus 1. And the left side is simply x to the fourth power. Now, we have x squared. And take note that x squared is x plus 1. So we can substitute x plus 1 to this x squared. Therefore, we have x plus 1 and then bring down 2x plus 1. Now, combine like terms and we get that x raised to the fourth power equals 3x plus 2. Memorize this result because it will help us later on. Now, from x to the fourth power plus 3x plus 2, add 1 both sides and we get that x to the fourth power plus 1 equals 3x plus 3. Now, we have x to the fourth plus 1 equals 3x plus 3. Now, at this point, let's start with this equation. x to the fourth equals 3x plus 2. So, we have x to the fourth equals 3x plus 2. Now, square both sides. Again, we will use this identity. Therefore, the right-hand side of our equation becomes 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. And on the left side, we have x raised to 8. Again, we see an x squared. And we know that x squared must be equal to x plus 1. Therefore, we can substitute x squared with x plus 1. Now, let's combine similar terms. We have 9x plus 12x will give us 21x. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 will give us 13. Next, add 1 both sides and we get that x raised to 8 plus 1 equals 21x plus 14. Now keep in mind that x raised to 8 plus 1 equals 21x plus 14. Using these values, we can now evaluate this expression. So let's take x raised to 16 minus 1 all over x raised to 8 plus 2x raised to 7. On the numerator, we have a perfect square minus another perfect square. Therefore, we can use the difference of two squares. If we have a squared minus b squared, it is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Therefore, we can factor out the numerator as x raised to 8 plus 1 multiplied by x raised to 8 minus 1. And on the denominator, we can factor out x raised to 7. Therefore, we have x raised to 7 multiplied by x plus 2. Now, take note that x raised to 8 minus 1 is a difference of two squares. Therefore, we can factor out x raised to 8 minus 1 into x raised to the port power plus 1 multiplied by x raised to the port minus 1. And again, 
x to the fourth minus 1 is the difference of two squares. Therefore, we can factor out x to the fourth power minus 1 into x squared plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 1. Now, let's focus on this result. So, we have x raised to 8 plus 1 multiplied by x raised to the fourth power plus 1 multiplied by x squared plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 1. Those expressions are familiar because we know that x squared plus 1 must be x plus 2. x squared minus 1 is x. x to the fourth plus 1 is 3x plus 3. And x raised to 8 plus 1 must be equal to 21x plus 14. Therefore, we can substitute all those values to our expression. If we do that, we get 21x plus 14 multiplied by 3x plus 3, which is x to the fourth plus 1 multiply by x plus 2, which is x squared plus 1, and multiply by x. All over, x raised to 7, multiply by x plus 2. Now, as you can see, we can cancel out x plus 2 on the numerator and x plus 2 on the denominator. Also, we can cancel out 1x on the numerator and 1x on the denominator. Therefore, we have 21x plus 14 multiplied by 3x plus 3 all over x raised to 6. Now, on the numerator, on the first factor, we can factor out 7, and on the second factor, we can factor out 3. Therefore, our numerator becomes 7 times 3 times 3x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now, x plus 1 is familiar to us because it is equal to x squared. Now, how about 3x plus 2? Take note that x raised to the fourth power must be equal to 3x plus 2. Therefore, we can substitute all those values to our expression. And our expression now becomes 21 times this is x to the fourth power and this is x squared all over x raised to 6. Now, x to the fourth power and x squared, if we combine them, we get x raised to 6. Therefore, we can cancel out x raised to 6 on the numerator and x raised to 6 on the denominator. And this will give us a value of 21. Therefore, the value of our expression x raised to 16 minus 1 all over x raised to 8 plus 2x raised to 7 must be equal to 21. And we're done.